I brought up a quote quite a while ago um, that I think pretty much sums up a certain view of good and evil. Um, where, and I think it was the second Aliens movie, there was a little girl that they discovered at this uh, outpost, this human outpost uh, in some other planet that had been uh, overrun by these ghastly uh, aliens, Ridley Scott aliens. Um, and a little girl uh, that was discovered there who had survived, her name was Newt, said, um, you know, my mom always told me that there were no monsters. But there are. Um, she was referring to the aliens, of course. The classic aliens that don't have any other name but aliens. They're probably quite intelligent, and in many ways they're very similar to human beings in their predatory nature. But they're big and they're ugly and insectoid or crustacean-like, and they have all kinds of quirky things about them. The way that they uh, reproduce is horrific. In other words, they... Uh, I don't know what I forget what the scientific term is, but they shove their uh, this tube down your throat to lay eggs inside of you, which then rips its way out of you. That kind of thing. It's uh, you know, and they're, they they drip mucus everywhere. And, but their behavior, however animalistic it is, is in certain ways predictable to humans because they have the same drives as we do. They want to protect their young. They want to survive. They want to reproduce. Presumably, they want to eat. I don't know what they eat, but uh, you know, they. In, in that way, I think we were meant to sort of say, "Are we really all that different from these aliens?" I think that was the message of the the movies, uh, or at least the ones that were worth watching. A couple of them were pretty abysmal, but um, <clears throat> and that fascinates me. Here's an alien that is deliberately made as horrific as possible, at least from a human point of view, but you're left with the nagging feeling that this horrible monster isn't all that different from us. Um, and that fascinates me in terms of uh, moral value states. Can you pass judgment upon these aliens for being what they are? They, they're not they're neither good nor evil. We're supposed to, I guess, see that, okay, they should be evil, but they're close enough to us that we can understand them. And it's more of a, almost a fair fight, I guess, between humans and aliens in the movies, or um, a competition, you know, may the better man, man, <laughs> better creature, species, live. Um, and they're not really evil. They're terrifying, yes. Are they evil? Well, maybe they see us as evil. Maybe they see us as cattle in the field to be exploited, and uh, we're simply the cattle who have revolted against the butcher. It doesn't make the butcher evil, and it doesn't make us good. Um, are there any monsters? I guess, you know, that's the old saying of Nietzsche, where he, you know, he sort of said, well, the uh, lambs down on the in the field looked up and saw the eagles and said, oh, those eagles are evil, whereas the eagles, or whatever bird of prey it was, looked down, the falcons, and said, uh, ooh, we love those little lambs, they're not evil, they're delicious. Um, what do the aliens want from humans? Do they want to hurt humans? No, they don't. Is it justifiable to for either side to call the other one a monster? And, and what, for, you know, with all that monsterism implies. In other words, these things are aberrations, they're perversions, they're H.P. Lovecraft's blasphemies, you know, Shogoths or Migo or something like that. Are these things bad? No. Well, what is an alien a metaphor for? It's just a metaphor for another human being whose actions we don't particularly understand or approve of or that threaten or confuse us. Was Newt right? Are there monsters? In other words, are there morally evaluable, <laughs> uh, evaluatable? Are there morally evaluatable beings out there? Not, uh, I'm not going to comment on their actions, but in their fundamental nature, are there beings out there that we can say are good or bad? 
as I say, can you think of anything nastier than, you know, one of Ridley Scott's aliens? <laughs>